as soon as Jesus defined his role, he went into the ship and he taught and many people came to listen to him speak. And he taught many things. He told stories that they could relate to called parables. He said, there was a farmer. He said, listen to this. And he went out to sow, to plant. And it came over time, some of the seeds that he put in the ground fell on the ground and the birds came and ate them up. And then some of the seed fell on ground that was too hard and it sprung up too early. The sun came out like normal, but the plant was not planted deep enough and it scorched and it soon withered. It was of no good. And then there was some seed that was planted, but then the thorns came out and it choked them. But there was some seed that fell on good ground and it brought forth fruit a little more and more. And the word said, anybody that has ears and want to hear, they'll get this some message. Of the people didn't quite understand the parable, including the disciples. So they asked him, what did it really mean? And Jesus said, for those who want the word of God, they would get it. But those who don't want the word of God, you would never get any of it. You would be saying, what is this? Or I hear it, but I don't understand it. He said, it is because you have been locked out. He said, you will only see the surface. He said, if I let you go beyond the surface, you can be saved without repenting. And that is not going to happen. Okay, Jesus said, the first thing we need to clear up is... If you don't get this parable, you won't understand the rest. So the seed is the word of God. And that's what the farmer sowed. So the word is the seed. And the first kind of ground was the ground where the people were standing near the road, near the path. They heard the word and got glad. But immediately when they got it, the devil jumped in and he's looking for the word and he took it from them. All right, the next is stony ground. These people heard the word and they got excited, but they were on stony ground. This is the stony ground. These are the type of plants that pop up without any root. And many times we have people who we put in position to lead. And when the attack comes, and they will come, these people who pop up too soon are not able to sustain and are discouraged and offended. And we lose another person because of no root. Word in the will go forth among thorns. And what are thorns? The thorns of this world are things that we are attracted to, even though we hear the word. We want the word. But then we are caught up with the things of this world. And these things can pull us away from the things. Now, if of you God. want to be educated in the highest institution of learning is in the word of God. This is when you are on good ground. This is where you can go into the word of God and get anything that pertains to making a good life. Get in his word and you will produce because what? It is good ground. 4 and 23 says, if any man have ears to hear, let him hear. God's word. Jesus said, take heed what you hear. Whatever you measure by will be the same measure used for you. Heed means to concern yourself with, take notice of something, or pay attention to. That's my word. Whatever you use to measure other by, others by, that would be the measurement I would use to measure you. Anybody who listens to me, I will use more. Anybody can apply Anybody can qualify. Work hard and I will bless you more. Be lazy and I'll take what you have. God has given us a snapshot of how he does us when the word is on the inside of us. He said it is like you take the word and go to bed. Let me handle it. Just like a seed in the ground. And then you wake up knowing that the seed is in development. Knowing that you're growing, stay in the ground, stay grounded. Then next thing you know, you are looking at the fruit of your life and you don't know how you got there. But it's all under control under God. First the blade, then the ear, then the full corn. When you see you grow. the fruit, you got to cut it down. Load it on the truck and take it to town. 
It's a process we must go through. God wants everybody to taste your fruit. Jesus went over everyday life things, especially things that can grow, to show them what God was like. I'm introducing, I'm appetizing. I can take something tiny. God can take something tiny. Very small. Go into the ground. And that same thing will become big. That's what God wants to do in our life. Take something tiny and make it big. And this is what Jesus was trying to show. He said, but all I can do is talk to you in parables. He said, but if you come into me the way I said come, I won't just have parable time. I'll give you revelation time. Come to me. Talk to me. Jesus gave directions. So let's, let's, let's go on the other side. Let's pass over to the other side. And the disciples got the people and gathered and said, y'all can exit this way. While Jesus was on the ship and some small ships was around him. And then there came a storm while they was in the middle of the water. And they were terrified and they went to Jesus, wake up, wake up, wake up. And then they got him up. He said, do you care if we die? Jesus saw the fear of the faces of the disciples and he saw the wind and he looked up toward the sky and said, peace be still. Jesus believed in God. He's, he's so disappointed in the fact that they see you. Where your faith at? Why, 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 you, why are you scared? These guys, wait a minute, hold up. Who, what kind of man is this that even the wind and the sea obeys him?